Look what I've got here. 70th anniversary. Fender thin line Telecaster and transparent shell pink. <laughs> We're going to give it a going over today, right here on Geargasm. Hi everybody, welcome to Geargasms. I'm your host, Alan Barnes. Today I have an esteemed guest in the studio. 70th anniversary Fender Telecaster Thin Line. How'd I get a hold of this beautiful beast? I know you're asking yourselves that, right, right? I'm gonna tell you, but first, if you're new to the channel, I'd like to ask you to like and subscribe. This channel is kind of like a grocery store sheet cake when you got no other options. Celebrate mediocrity. If you're a regular viewer of Geargasms and you see this mini pearl hang tag, you know that you know how I got a hold of this. My friends up at Earl Teat Music in Del Mar, Delaware, Dean and Chris, they hooked a brother up. They got a strat just like it. They got both of these at the same time. I said, give me that telly though. Cause I've never played a Fender Thin Line telly. We're gonna do tight, glorious shots of this. We're not gonna go through the whole normal, here's the neck pickup, here's the bridge pickup, tone, blah, blah, blah. So we're just gonna plug it into a bunch of different amps, find places where it sounds good. I'll tell you what the signal path is, and then we'll rock and roll from there. But before we do any of that, this thing is so gorgeous. Let's talk about the specs while we ooh and ah over some glorious Trogley style B-roll. I love that transparent shell pink finish and how it allows the grain of the ash wood to shine through. Beautiful F hole there, super classy. Now there's more pit guard on a thin line telly and this pit guard is a three ply tortoise shell and it's not only extra area on the guitar, it is extra tortoisey. That is the most extra tortoise I have ever seen. Some sort of a nuclear super tortoise from the future. Maybe it's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle tortoise. Single volume, single tone like most tellies, but it's got a push, sort of a push pull, sort of a springy bounce up tone knob that only engages in the middle position and it turns them from parallel into series. It has two V-Mod, two single coil Telecaster pickups. Standard telly ashtray type string through bridge. Of course, it's a maple neck, four bolt on with a new heel shape that I really love on the back of that. It is a deep C neck shape, scale length 25.5 inches. Fingerboard radius is 9.5, number of frets is 22, and they are narrow tall. Nut material is bone, nut width is 1.685 inches. Now it's a pretty thing, but let's see how much y'all still like it once I start playing. Right now I'm on the Fender Blues Junior, everything's kind of pretty much in the middle. So it's pretty clean, just a touch of reverb. E906 in the grill cloth. Currently on the bridge pickup. Middle position. Let's pull this doohickey up. the neck.
Marshall DSL 100, the clean channel, the crunch voice. Gain is at 330, volume is at 9. Everything's mids. Ocean's 11. Pop that tone. Tubes Kramer. Why am I plugging it into this Mesa Boogie <laughs> on the high gain side? Just because it's not something you normally do, and I'm going to be honest with you, I have never yet really gotten a, a, a pair of single coil pickups to sound good on the second half of the Mesa Boogie Mark V. That's what we're going into, Sign Sennheiser microphone on the grill cloth. We're on the Mark IV voice, California smile on the graphic EQ is in place, gain is uh, it's pretty heavy duty. Gain is uh, almost all the way up. It actually sounds better with the gain pulled back a little bit, so I brought it back to 3 o'clock. It's still, it's not that satisfying. I mean, sure, you could play this guitar and into this sound, but it just doesn't give you that... That, that that really, really irregular feeling where you're not going on a regular basis and you need maybe more fiber. Maybe a tube screamer will help give us that impacted, constipated tone we're looking for. With it. All right, we'll leave that on. Now, 
Now, one thing's for sure, you can certainly hear all those notes. That's the one good thing. There's a little more articulation with a single coil pickup, even in high gain application. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, this, this wouldn't be my daily driver if I'm trying to get my five finger death punch riffs on. I know you got excited for me. You're like, oh, he's going to play five finger death punch, Rich. And see, he doesn't know any. Let's try that middle position real quick. Oh, I like that though. You know what I did there for the first time? I've been hitting the switch this whole video, right? Didn't really know what it does. It's a series. It switches these two pickups in series where normally they're in parallel. You get a little more beef. I didn't like it in any of the clean or, or edge of breakup stuff, but oh, here, I can hear it. Let's do that again. This is regular p -p 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 parallel. Bounce it. So there's a use for that. Night. Those bowels are loose now, are they not? <laughs> oh, that's that. That's that neck pickup. It's 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 a it's a telly neck pickup. Lots of people don't like telly neck pickups in a lot of applications. Obviously, this is not going to be your friend in, in this particular setup. But wait. Let me add a little digital delay and see if we can get some singing lead tones. <laughs> Answer is yes. still have fun with it you can still play all your stupid you know you can just wank around on it sure you can into that kind of tone we just proved that but i don't know if i would make this like if you're gonna like like gig heavy music you're not john five this this probably isn't isn't gonna get you there but it does sound kind of tough in this situation. <laughs> thought this video was going to be over there, didn't you? But I just wanted to point out something. I don't really find that having this F-hole makes it more prone to feedback at all in any, in any, in any way, shape, or form. What did we learn today? We learned that this Telecaster can play really, really nicely with a, a variety of amps and a variety of settings. We also learned that these new pickups could play also just as well with a variety of amps and settings and they really seem to talk well through pedals. And finally we learned, or at least with my limited skill set we did, I can't seem to make single coil pickups work with high gain rhythm sounds. 
Once again, thanking my friends up at Earl Teat Music in Del Mar, Delaware, Chris and Dean, for hooking the channel up. They have a Stratocaster that looks just like this if you want to stop by and check it out. If you're not local to the area, support your local music store wherever you are. As always, I thank you for the time that you spend with the channel. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. You got some embarrassing, slow-witted, low standards, late rent paying friends. Send them to gear guys and we'd love to have them here. If you'd like to buy some merch and support the channel, please do so. But please also understand we don't have layaway, you broke mofos. Whatever you do in the next seven days, don't tell John Fogarty about it. It'll violate his Just for Men sponsorship. Aww. But play more guitar. Watch less of this and keep coming back here week after week for more Geargasms.